Hello, Krista. How are you today? Hello, I am good, Amanda. How are you? Awesome. Today we're going to talk about SEO. SEO Great. is super overwhelming. Yes, There's a lot of be. things. Yeah. There's a lot of things out there about SEO and yes. it's super easy to not do it well. Yes. Um, yeah. I know you worked with a lot of clients on SEO and mm -hmm. you also are kind of obsessed with HubSpot. Just a little bit. Yes. And HubSpot <laughs> has a tool that helps with SEO, right? Yes, they do. Um, so there's the tool in HubSpot and I, what I like about it personally, because there's a bunch of SEO tools that you can use out in the universe. They will all tell you basically the same thing in some sort of redigested format, um, which is all well and good, but a lot of them don't tell you like on-page performance versus what's actually happening on your SERP search engine results page. Mm -hmm. um, whereas in HubSpot, it gives you a solid overview of kind of your whole SEO environment. Um, as opposed to having to go like into WordPress, go into Yoast, check everything in there, mm -hmm. go back to Moz, cycle through, try to compare everything, um, and then try to translate into what, what this thing is talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, so that, like, that's why I personally really enjoy the SEO tool within HubSpot. Um, with that caveat, you do have to have things like your website and blog pages and all that connected to HubSpot in order for it to work, uh, with the on-page all of that, but um, otherwise you can really kind of get an entire SEO overview, especially if it's something that you're not super familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, because to me, you ever you need to be doing SEO. It's very easy to do poorly, but not doing it at all is much worse than just trying to get a baseline right. started. So once you have that kind of baseline, you have data, you have all that, then you can kind of build your program and adjust it accordingly. Mm -hmm. um, so at, like, and especially if you are a HubSpot user, start using the SEO tool. It will give you like kind of handhold you through the entire process and mm -hmm. will really kind of help you to get at least a basic idea of what is happening in SEO since it is something that is changing a lot, but at the same time, the basics are always going to be the same. Yeah, I like that. And I think a lot of what you're talking about has to do with like the technical pieces of SEO, which is yeah. super important. And honest, like personally, to me, that's the most overwhelming part. Like, mm -hmm. you know, what, how do you know? Um, whereas mm -hmm. content is a little bit more intentional, but um, HubSpot yeah. has a content portion of their SEO tool too. How can, how can people use that to like get the biggest bang for the buck for content? Yeah. Um, so for that, uh, the content tool within SEO, it's um, under it the tabs called topics. Um, so you can kind of sort through your website. If you already have it connected to HubSpot, um, it will kind of comb through and pull out things that you talk about a lot and go, Hey, is this a main topic that we want to start mm -hmm. creating keywords, key phrases, bundles of things around? Um, or if you're just starting out, you don't even have a website. You can just literally make a list of five topics, maybe two topics. One, if you mm -hmm. are just like, I need to start somewhere getting that one main topic, um, let's say you sell apples, you want apples, you have an orchard that maybe sells cherries. Like you can toss that topic in later and then start creating top, um, uh, excuse me, content around those main topics. It will connect back to that. And then HubSpot will also help you with, um, pulling up, you know, uh, long phrase, uh, excuse me, long form key phrases that took a while for my brain to go through. Okay. Um, but it will start pulling up those long forms and saying like, Hey, this is a related key phrase to this topic. Is this something you want to create a page around? Mm -hmm. Um, so it will kind of prompt you with that and keep you moving on that content strategy. Um, and then all else fails. You can always go into new topic analytics and just kind of go backwards as mm -hmm. well. Um, if you, especially if you already have a ton of stuff in HubSpot and you're like, God, this is overwhelming. Start there, work your way backwards, pull out the gold pieces and then kind of scrub everything else, call it a day. Yeah, I like that. And I think Google's constantly making changes to yes. make this, you know, SERP more beneficial for the searcher themselves. Yes. And I think yes. like, just for example, one of the things that that topic tool allows you to do is like take the word paint, for example, you mm -hmm. can have paint to paint a house or you can have paint to paint a picture. Paint to paint a picture. Exactly. And so making sure that you have the content to support the intent behind the search. So 
Google can tell if someone's typically looking for paint for a house or paint for a picture. Um, so making sure that you have the right kind of content on your site to drive the mm -hmm. right searcher, the right exactly. user to your site with relevant content. That's super important. And exactly. Um, tell me like, okay, there's this SEO tool there. You already mm -hmm. talked through kind of like the, the main things to do that are super important. But if you had to say like one or two things that are your favorite, coolest things that the SEO tool does or that somebody should really take advantage of, what would you say that they are? I think honestly, just getting your topics in there, um, the topics tool allows you to keep everything so much more organized mm -hmm. than any other SEO tool, because it gives you kind of like a word map, mm -hmm. just like step one, get that in there. Just yep. having that visual, I think is super, super helpful to a lot of people. Um, and then I think like that. Uh, that main word map is a really big one as well as like even just finding related content. Yeah. It's like, especially if you are anywhere to just start is those two guys just kind of getting those in there and then you can kind of build off of both of those and then learn from there. Um, Cause it will start suggesting you content and then maybe you it's topics you hadn't thought about, or it's mm -hmm. a phrasing that you wouldn't have thought about before either. Um, especially if you're struggling with like, what do I write about? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to tell people about. I don't want this to sound too salesy. Mm -hmm. um, those are really good places to kind of as a starter point, use Absolutely. both of those uh, that will set you up with like a really solid foundation. Um, and I think that will also do like a really good just SEO basics education. Because mm -hmm. um, I feel like people tend to get a little like can't see the forest for the trees. Mm -hmm. there, I mean, there's 9,000 people out there going, this is the thing you have to focus on for SEO right now, which, you know, all well and good if you have a giant program running right now and you are trying to rank number one on some really valuable key phrases. That is all well and good to really focus on like those specific things, what's working right now for mm -hmm. other people out there. But if you have not started with anything, just get the basics. I like that get those started. Don't try to overwhelm yourself with a whole bunch of details uh, that will just, it, it will discourage you before you've been really started and you really just kind 100%. of need to start. Yep, for sure. I like that. Awesome. Well, Krista, thank you so much for dropping some SEO knowledge. No problem. Yeah. I, I'm here like the Oracle. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs>